Hi, and welcome to today's children's message. I'm really glad that you are here. I need your help solving a problem. Can you read for me what is on this page? No? Maybe you can read what's on this page. This would be helpful too if you could read this page. You can't read what's on that page either? But what if it's really important news? What if it's really good news? Like those pages tell us where a, a hidden treasure is. Or, or maybe it's really good news that tells us where something is that you and I lost. If, if you and I aren't able to read those pages and it has really good news, what would we do? We'd have to find somebody who could read those languages, tell us then what's on the page so that you and I could hear that good news. The disciples had some really good news. After Jesus died on the cross, they saw that Jesus rose from the dead and they heard Jesus come and talk to them. And Jesus told them how because he had risen, he had died for them and, and risen from the dead, all of their sin was now forgiven. And this was really good news because Jesus didn't just die to take away the sins of the disciples. He died to take away everyone's sins. And so Jesus wanted his disciples to go out into the world and tell people this really good news that Jesus had died to take away everyone's sins. But the disciples had a problem. The disciples didn't know everybody's languages. They would only be able to tell people that, whose language they knew. But God had a, a, a way to fix that problem. So 50 days after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, God sent his disciples the Holy Spirit in a very special way. They came, he came with, with tongues of fire, and they had little tongues of fire on their head, but it wasn't burning their hair. They heard the sound of a wind, but there wasn't a wind. And the Holy Spirit came and he filled the disciples and he gave the disciples the ability to talk and speak in other languages, which meant as they went out into the world, now they were going to be able to tell people this good news about who Jesus was and all that he had done for them, even though they had never learned how to speak that language. It was a miracle. Now, the good news of all that Jesus had done was going to go out into the world through those disciples. Did you know that Jesus wants you and me to do the same thing? Jesus calls us and he says, I want you to go out into the world and tell everyone you can about this good news that you have. You have this good news that Jesus uh, lives for you and died for you and now gives you this, this home in heaven. And you know what Jesus does? He sends you and me the Holy Spirit too. When we were baptized, God sent the Holy Spirit into our hearts and he created a, a faith, a faith that knows and trusts that Jesus died for all of my sins and, and all of your sins. And now the Holy Spirit continues to come to us as we, we read God's word as we listen to children's messages, as we go to church or a Bible class or to Sunday school. All of those ways are, the, the, are different ways the Holy Spirit comes to us and strengthens our faith and encourages us and makes us ready to tell others this good news about who Jesus is and all that Jesus has done for us. Then he sends us out into the world. Maybe when you grow up, you will grow up and become a pastor or a teacher or a missionary and you'll go to a, a different land and you'll learn different languages and be able to tell people in a different language all that Jesus has done for them. Or maybe you'll stay really close to home and you'll be able to tell people in your family in your neighborhood, at school, or, or maybe where you work, people that you talk to each and every day, you'll be able to tell them the good news that Jesus died for them, that Jesus rose for them, and now Jesus has a home for them in heaven. Thank you for listening to today's children's message. I look forward to seeing you again at our next children's message.